This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today, Sighing Cultural, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, these are the Scamper and Six Gone homage pack uh, that goes along with this guy right here. Uh, the uh, Legend Scale Metroplex. And I can't wait uh, because mainly I got this for Scamper because I already have a Six Gun. And um, it's I don't like my the, the Six Gun toy. I mean, he's a good representation of the character in robot mode, but the transformation, he's loose. You know, the weaponizer gimmick was new uh, in Siege and I it got better uh, with the armorizer and, you know, all that stuff uh, from the uh, more recently the uh, Infernac Universe characters. Uh, but anyway, so this is going to be, you know, smaller figures, uh, but it's really for the scamper who was a small car back then. So I'm guessing I'm not too concerned with the, uh, the scaling, but... Uh, you know, we'll see what happens with this and uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy that before I do that I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel and also the interview playlist uh, Which it's always a good uh, story to hear, you know from the actors their experience and everything so uh, Take a look and now let's roll the intro to figure out if any of you Dinobots was involved in stealing Fort Knox and the Taj Mahal. Okay, so out of the box, which was just a plain plastic insert and a box. So that was, uh, that was cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, you only have the instructions, which are not as great. I'll give that to Hasbro. They do a lot of mistakes sometimes, but their instructions are spot on. This, this, yeah, I mean, it does the job. It's just not what I'm used to. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to take a look at that later. Uh, funny thing, uh, I got this set just mainly for the scamper because I never had one and Hasbro hasn't leaked anything for the next couple years uh, about a scamper. Uh, I do have a six gun, which I'm not a huge fan of because of um, he's loose and I don't know I'm, I'm not a big fan of the weaponizer thing so uh, not these one though I mean they got better with the uh, Infernac Universe stuff but. so but I mean it you know looks good you know we'll do better comparison later uh, this guy doesn't transform into a plane like the Siege 6 gun he transforms into a little turret uh, so we'll take a look at that in a moment uh, funny thing, when I pulled that out of the box, my son was like, oh, I have this guy. I'm like, no, you do not. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he comes with this. You know, that's one of the, I don't even know this guy's name. It's one of the mini uh, spy master or, you know, not target master, but the uh, battle master that came in siege as well. So, and uh, that's a Decepticon. But, you know, to my son, that was, you know, the same thing. And to be fair, I mean... Come, uh, I hate these guys because they don't send. I mean, the scale is <laughs> he's not that much bigger, you know, but way better engineer. And he stands. Okay, well, let's go with uh, taking a look at six guns first. Uh, he has detachable legs, like the Siege version, uh, because you can attach that to the gun of uh, the um, Metroplex, the Legend Scale Metroplex. Uh, you do have uh, the big black guns, and then in the back you have the little red ones. Um, so if you want, you can make a gun out of this, like that, and you pull this out. So that's that's the new Metroplex uh, gun, basically. If you don't want to use the, uh, well, I mean you can't replace it because the handle, but that that was like the G1 idea 
was this. So, but then this you add to the actual gun and uh, I'll snap pictures and actually insert it here so you can see, you know, how you're supposed to use this. Um, fun gimmick, you know, it's, uh, it's, I don't think it was necessary to include it, but for some people, if you want to, I don't know, add a scope to your gun, not bad. I do like the shine, not the shine, because that's more like of a matte finish, but there's a bit of reflectiveness uh, for the light on the black guns. No hollowness, you know, it's really nice. Uh, both sides, you do have, you know, it's, there's just the hole for the, the pin, the peg, but it looks really good. Can complain. And yeah. No, I like it. Uh, you know, nice uh, color for the uh, the eyes. It's a bit uh, tiny, uh, but it does the job. Uh, and I like again the matte plastic that they use, kind of Iron Factory ish. I like that. No hollowness, you know, anywhere on the figure. Not even well, a little bit of waffle underneath, but you know, not nothing uh, deal breaking. Uh, maybe a bit on the gun, but that's you know. Basically, so that you don't have to. Uh, there's no side if you want to, you know, peg him on the other way for some reason. So, yeah, maybe just the little red gun are a little bit uh, hollow. But besides that, pretty much it. Uh, one thing I would have liked is if the hand, like, there's a big screw here, but if you could, you know, remove, fold it inside. Uh, that would be nice because the hands are always sticking out, so that's too bad. Eh, but I mean, I paid this set was like 12 bucks on magicsquare.com, uh, and I had points, um, so basically, I paid just for shipping, uh, which was like 11 bucks. So, but then again, I waited like three weeks to a month to get this, so yeah, pretty cool uh, price uh, for these figures. And but the quality is there. I mean, there's a good weight to it. Uh, he did, when you see, just you know, heavier, but not by much. So that's pretty neat. And then Scamper, he looks really fun. He looks really good. I like. He's tiny, very tiny. He has great gunmetal guns. No problem there. No. Well, I mean, okay, hollow underneath. But when you look at it from side to side, there's no problem from the front. You know. This looks to be a little bit blast effect compatible. I'm not sure if all of them do. We're gonna take a look at that. Uh, so that looks good. And the he's, like he could use maybe a little bit more paint application. Definitely an Autobot logo, which I'll add soon. Uh, you know, leftovers from toy hacks. From the back, looks clean. Nice window colors. Uh, a bit of a hole here just because you know it doesn't even fully um, flips inside uh, but it's required for transformation so yeah the legs are a little tight to transform to and you have to get this panel open it's it's not it's not great um, not gonna do on screen transformation because really I have a hard time with that scale and my big stubby finger so I uh, like the uh, head sculpt looks really good with the uh, blue eyes yeah nice gunmetal the highlights here he's a bit small they could have made him a little bigger just at that all right well let's take a look at some comparison um well you've you know we already saw this and this so there you go, these are the Siege comparison. And now let's uh, find some more figures. Well, here they are with the actual legs of Metroplex. So you can see that he's towering over them. So that scale is perfect. Even then he could be bigger and, you know, I wouldn't complain. Uh, this is G1 Sunstreaker, uh, just to, you know, give you the comparison. This is Legend Scale Enki, uh, their uh, Iron Factory Samurai Sideswipe. I really like this figure and I can't wait to have the Sunstreaker version, which I, God knows when it's going to come out now. But uh, yeah, so he's, uh, you know, in between the uh, these two legend uh, figure. All right, now let's go and do some articulations because that's always important. So for six gun, 
he does have a full head rotation because of the ball joint uh, has a tiny bit of attitude not attitude but up and down barely left and right you have a full ferris wheel plus you have well okay the arm would extend but he, he's a little too tall so he hits on the side here of the shoulder so you can't get a full extension that's uh, that's too bad uh, but you do have if i remove this you do have a full elbow bend plus you have because of transformation you have like a back elbow so i don't know if you want to do some pose that's uh you know an option uh, putting this up here you have your full merry-go-round you have a fantastic johnny cage with ankle tilt so there's no problem there and then you have a wonderful 90 degree bend at the knee and a rotation at the hip and that's it no rotation at the knee and no toe tilt you just have the rocker so yeah well articulated the little guy and now his compadres um he has a terrible rotation the head is like it's on a weird joint here so that it goes inside when you transform him but it prevents him from having a good rotation i mean you do get it but you feel like the ball joint is going to pop out uh, same with the arm if you're not probably lined up when you move this a uh, couple times now the, uh, the it came out of the socket but you do have your ferris wheel no problem and his arm do extend on the side no problem you have a rotation underneath the shoulder you have a 90 degree bend and your hand does not rotate but it folds backward because of transformation you do have a merry-go-round don't have an ab crunch neither did the uh, gun you don't have a rotation um at the well Hold on, yeah, there is. There was a peg, it's just really tight. So yeah, you have a rotation underneath the shoulder. You do have also a Johnny Cage. It's just not, eh, it's not flush, but it works. And then you have a, while well, a transformation will prevent you from doing more than this because you have to remove panels and everything. Uh, but you do have a, kind of a ro rocker oh yeah i guess you do have a rocker so i could probably get a better van dam uh, not van dam johnny cage out of him well a little bit and uh but you do have a a tilt a little bit like that but it's only because it's gonna go inside for transformation and uh, kick forward kick back and the head f keeps falling in it's annoying but I like him there you go all right and now I'm going to show you the alt modes Grimlock says he sniffed lots of dinosaur transform static at Fort Knox okay this is six gun in turret mode it's goofy um, I'm gonna you know snap a picture uh, later and put it here so that you can uh, see how you're supposed to display him on the Metroplex uh, base mode um, It's yeah, I mean you have the hand sticking out you, you have the gun and then you have the legs which are gonna go on the gun. So yeah It's not great. I Don't like this figure more than the siege one. I don't like it less. I Don't like it more Pew pew. He looks much better. That's a great transformation. Except the legs, they're hard to fold in uh, because you, you know you have to close the panel on top of the legs here, and everything kind of gets in the way. So legs not so great. The top not too bad. Um, you're not supposed to turn the head, I guess. Well, you can't. Uh, well, I guess you could hide it like that. 
So yeah, actually it looks pretty good. You can hide it like that. It doesn't affect anything. It's just for transformation, you're gonna have to retwist it and put it back in this position. Kind of hollow here, but it works. And then you have the guns, which you can now add up here for the full battle station look. And yeah, so these, you're supposed to line them up with the bumper like that. Looks good. Could use a little bit of, uh, you know, tail lighting. I know Toy Hacks came out with stickers for the Metroplex, which I'm not gonna get because it's too expensive and I don't, it's mainly for the base mode. But if they do get stickers for these guys, I probably will get them. Just uh, actually, at least for Scamper, just to uh, just get him a little more uh, oomph. All right. All right. Final look at, uh, well, this guy, because, you know, I put this one back in robot mode quick enough. But, uh, yeah, final look at uh, Scamper. You got dinosaur electrons in your circuit, Skylinks. I'm going to end it with this uh, bigger shot. It's... Okay, scamper is fine. I mean, I already pointed out that this ramp is not long enough to touch the ground in my review. So, but he, you know, he can fall down of it. Uh, and he fits in that little compartment uh, that he's supposed to fit in. So that works. This is dumb because the position, like there's pegs here, which I don't even know why they make a stern. So basically when you, this is the leg position and this is the uh, not leg position, which basically you put in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that you can probably leave the... No, they're a very minute difference in distance. So you wanna leave those legs pinned. Uh, no, the other way around, sorry. Ah, well, there you go, camera work. On camera all the time so did I break that no so all right uh, this way there we go so basically yeah you have those two pins here which are slightly further off than the one you use for the legs and you put it here but if you want to have the gun which yeah you know you do the head thing you can't have the gun because the gun is going to if you it's it jams here you know so you have to remove the gun and then now you have the you know proper position but you only have the fire you know have the firepower and I just wanted to point out too that these guns are the same as uh, the bigger ones we got you know in the uh, with the Metroplex so kudos for, you know, keeping stuff um, constant. Same design, just, you know, bigger. Um, so yeah, I I don't get it. Why, why would you put it here? I mean, maybe, you know, you can, there's a little hole here, there that maybe if I, no, nah, I couldn't. I don't know, it's weird. Um, yeah not really seeing the i mean it, it it stays there but that's about it and then in base mode since the gun are on the side you can't put this underneath so and maybe there's peg holes somewhere that i could probably use um you know to pull the gun but not really so anyway i think i think that's that pretty much covers everything. Um, I wish this would have been better thought of, um, but I mean, this is probably an afterthought. Not an afterthought, but maybe they hadn't planned to do this as they were demanding this, and they just had two holes there, and said, ah, we're gonna use that for the, the turret, so. Anyway. Oh, and there's the little uh, um, guy here. Forgot to plug on top. 
uh, but you can't even see it. So anyway, sorry, my girlfriend called in the middle of shooting and I have no clue where I was at. So anyway, I pointed everything out. You have uh, uh, this thing that uh, I wish would have been better placed. It, I, they could have used better placement. Uh, but you know, the highlight of this set is definitely Scamper. Uh, he looks good. I like the transformation. I like the colors. Yeah. And you know, he needs some, uh, some headlights. So hopefully Toy Hacks will do something for that. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, sorry for the end with, you know, the white shot. And you know, you can see that I don't have enough floor tiles for this, but anyway, Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.